can use ArcMap uh, to export files and maps to KMZ or KML, and this includes both uh, vectors and rasters. It does a really good job with the vectors, uh, in other words, shape files, but also can do individual raster files or an entire map. So what you do is you'd go, so here we have the geologic map of Meteor Crater that we georeferenced a few lectures ago. And if we want to make this into a KMZ file, we go Arc Toolbox, Conversion Tools, to KML. You have two choices here, Layer to KML, which takes a single layer like this map or like a single shape file. And then you also have Map to KML, which would take everything that you have in your layout um, and export it to a to KML file. The uh, so, but in this case, we're going to do layer to KML. So just double click on it. When you have it open, you say uh, you basically add that layer or that file as a layer. The output file we'll call um, Meteor Crater Geology. Save it. Now, any of these things you can click in here, and it gives some explanation. So the layer output scale is controls the scale at which this will appear in Google Earth. So you can experiment here. I'm just going to put one in which says we're not going to have scale dependent rendering. You can uh, do things with data content, extent, you could chop this thing a bit, or uh, you can also, and one thing you may experiment with is the output image properties, and so this may will change the resolution because you'll see when we do this, it's the output is a little uh, kind of pixelated and if you experiment with these numbers you may be able to refine your output but we'll take the default for now so we say okay okay once it's done I'm gonna go ahead and grab it from that directory pull it to my local machine here and then I'll double click on that KMZ file launching Google Earth and zoom into Meteor Crater so one thing you can see is that it, it's a transparent, semi-transparent file with all the white is transparent, but you basically can see the geologic map overlying the uh, imagery from Google Earth.